Today we're going to clean percussion revolver. It's a uh, Uberti 1851 Colt clone, uh, 36 caliber. We're gonna we're gonna do a complete tear down and clean. It's not terribly dirty, uh, but we're we're still gonna go through the uh, through the entire process. Uh, I clean with uh, what some people call moose milk. It is a uh, mixture of water and ballistol. Uh, I don't remember what my mix is. Uh, I think it's, I want to say it's like one part ballistol to four or five parts water. Uh, some some use it to lube with uh they say that the water evaporates out and leaves the oil on the surface um i don't really do that uh, i use it to clean it with and when i get done i lube it with the straight ballistol and on the uh the uh cylinder arbor i lube it with boar butter and uh ballast oil and everything else and uh got a my patches uh cut up t-shirt uh i uh all of the threads i put this wonder lube uh anisees on it on uh on, on every thread that i take out screws nipples everything so let's uh let's get with it and uh Show you how it's done okay so first of all we need to do some disassembly uh people use all kinds of various mallets hammers and everything else to take the wedge pin out uh the way i do it is i use the back end of a screwdriver it's plastic it's not going to hurt anything and with a kind of a downward motion uh, you want to depress this little keeper spring as you push it out like so, and then you can pull it out. Uh, this particular one, I usually can push it out with my fingers. Uh, you see, I don't have a screw, uh, a, uh, a wedge retaining screw. Uh, all of my... Uh, revolvers that screw doesn't hold it in uh it's it's more or less there for looks this this was an old kit gun we will get into describing it later at a at another time uh but that was one of the things that was missing uh that screw and the front sight which uh made a front sight and took the opportunity to make it a little taller shoots great so anyway let's uh Let's get with it. Uh, half cock. Use your rammer. It, it'll, it'll fall in between cylinders. Just push it out. Let's lay this down. When you are reinstalling your nipples, there is totally no reason to put them in much more than finger tight. Uh, I see so many people on various forms and whatnot with with stuck nipples. Uh, use any C's and not much more than finger tight. I mean, there's 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 no need to 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 ratchet down on them. Okay, there's all six of them. We. Are going to these are stainless slick shot nipples uh, I only use slick shot so we're gonna we're gonna spray them down real good and we're gonna put them over here and let them soak for a bit while we do another stuff all right let's uh
and uh, I don't uh, I try not to tighten my screws terribly tight uh, I shoot fairly often I clean fairly often so there's to me there's no need to put these screws in as tight as you can get them and uh, I have no see no reason to put Loctite on them like a lot of people do okay when uh this was a like i said this was a kit gun it was a a 1978 kit gun that had uh, never been finished, although it appeared to be somewhat put together and actually shot, uh, even in a unfinished condition, just screwed together. Uh, this screw was terribly, the spring screw was terribly boogered up. And uh, so I don't want to... Uh, I don't want you to think that's my work because it's not. Okay, there we go. Totally disassembled. So let's uh let's get to cleaning. Like I said, this is it's not it's not too terribly dirty. Uh, I didn't shoot it an awful lot. Uh, we're just all the internals. I'll just spray them down, wipe them down, get all the residue off of them. Okay, that is all the internals. We uh, get to the cylinder frame and barrel now. Okay, cylinder cylinder is done. Uh, notice I'm using a plastic tip on here, so when I when I go in there, I'm not I'm not burgering the threads up, you know, in in uh, either direction. Okay, let's move down to our barrel.
Now let's get down to the frame. And we've got a few little nooks and crannies here to, to get into. Okay, we're ready to reassemble. Okay, so here's where I got all the internals back in. Here's where I get a little lube in there. I just kind of hit it a little bit with this ballastol aerosol and just kind of work it around, get it on these surfaces. Okay, let's get these uh, nipples cleaned up and uh, move right along here. Uh, what I do with these is uh, I've been soaking them, so I just kind of twist them around, clean the threads up, clean off as much of the old residue as I can. Like so. And then I run a I run a uh, pipe cleaner down them just to kind of just give them a little extra cleaning down in there.
Okay. Okay, let's run a little ballastol down the down the bore in the in the chambers, and uh, we put it back together, and pretty much done with this. There it is. Ready to go shoot again. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you like it, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.